massive cleanup effort from Hurricane Matthew. The deadly storm claiming at least 900 lives in Haiti. And here in the U.S., at least 22 people have died. In North Carolina, they're now facing devastating flooding. ABC's Matt Gutman joins us on the ground there in Wilson. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Robin. More bad news for folks living here in North Carolina. The waters here are still rising, and it hasn't rained a drop here in 36 hours. Now, I'm here with Wilson Fire and Rescue. They say that this area hasn't flooded like this in 20 years. That's because the ground is so saturated, and these folks consider themselves the lucky ones. With its last gasp, Matthew pounded the Carolinas with wind, rain, even fire. The storm blew transformers in Charleston. Its rain was relentless. This morning, whole towns submerged 14 inches in Fayetteville. That's three months of rain in just 24 hours. It's the worst flooding since Hurricane Floyd nearly 20 years ago. The water sending rivers over their banks and bursting at least two dams. As the sun rises in North Carolina and the blue sky returns, uh, our state is facing major destruction and sadly, loss of life. Back up. Oh, my God. 21 lives lost, five still missing, most of them swept away in cars, forcing rescuers into the storm. More than a 1,000 rescues. She's standing on top of her vehicle. Though. This woman in red perched on her car as rescuers approach, notice that bundle under her arm. It's her baby. Scooped to safety by rescuers. It's okay. This man holding on to that yield sign for dear life. The National Guard also plowing through the waters, rescuing this woman. So many people caught off guard by the ferocity of this storm. Streets have become fast moving rivers here. More than 3,000 still in shelters here and millions without power in the south. And now the water's just over. Blake Smith is among those newly homeless. We accompanied the father of two toddlers as he returned home. Oh, I'm sorry, Blake. Oh my God. Whoa. Now, we're not out of the danger zone yet. Officials are monitoring additional dams across the state, the state that are in threat of breaching, but the weather is improving here. Robin and George. All right, Matt, thank you. And we're thinking of all those impacted by Matthew.